I want to know everything. This is this is Lady Don Lee right here. What do you mean? Welcome back to After the Stage with your host Arema, myself. That's my name. What should we call you? Pan African rock star. You know the vibes. Lady Don Lee. How are we feeling? I'm feeling great. Shout out to New Wave. Shout out to New Wave for this. I'm, I'm happy. Show's over. Vibe. Yeah, man. The energy in the room was contagious. I feel like everybody felt it. Um, me, I was shocked. Like, I mean, I, like London is my city. Like, in terms of like, I've had a lot of like coming of age experiences here. So like, I'm happy that people came out. And like, I feel like when I was on stage, I had a lot of outer body experiences. So you know, it was a great show. What What do you mean by outer body experiences? Elaborate a bit on that. It's like I was doing stuff that I wasn't in control of, man. Like the music was moving me, and like you know, I was doing. I did some stuff that like I just do. Like I did some movements I do on stage, and I'm like. Where did this come from? Like, you know, and that was in the sets, that wasn't part of the plan, but like it just happened because I was felt the energy from the crowd, I felt the energy from within the band, everything just came together so nicely. Your stage presence and how you are as a performer, is that just then a natural thing or is that something you've worked at as well? Um, it's a bit of both. Like, it's like I've worked on it to the extent where, like, it comes it all comes together it's like it's natural and it's like practice so i'm on stage i know the right things to do but some things happen that i didn't practice and it's just like that's how i'm just feeling the moment what was uni like for you Ah, yeah that was uni (laughs) i hear that i had fun i had fun things that was part of the union in my uni so like i had good times kind of like like i was the union chair in my uni so i had good times i had a lot of low times just because like that's not where my heart was at you know i was also like recording music in my room you know trying to put out songs eps and stuff so but i mean like it was a good experience i met some great people like i did show like bad people from my uni were here so you know that was obviously wonderful to see Honestly, I feel like when I finished uni in 2017, it was just like, this is my time now to explore me, who I am as a musician, who I am, I am as a person. And like since then, it's just been like organic. Everything I do is just like an, an extension of me. Most important for me is just creating experiences for people that listen to the music. That's it. So what was Lady Donnelly like at uni compared to now? I'm pretty much the same, I can't lie. Like I'm pretty introverted Like when it comes to like one-to-one interactions. I'm still the same. But I feel like as a as a performing artist, like I have grown like confidently on stage. I've learned more movements. I've learned how to just be, you know, I said it on stage today, I was like, um, I've had a lot of insecurities and I've had to prove myself to people and prove myself to myself. So right now I'm at the point where I've proven myself to myself so much so that when I'm on stage I'm just I'm just moving around in that confidence. Um so I think the lady done now is definitely way more confident than I was a couple of years back. I, I, we could we could see it today on the yeah, stage, yeah, yeah. all types of. Yeah, yo, I don't even know. I don't want to see what was happening. Can't lie, but like I know that I was just yeah, I was enjoying my time. I was enjoying my life. Yeah. Honestly, I love going to live concerts because like it just creates a different perspective to the album, and it also gives you like a more intimate, you know, ex- intimate experience with artists. So. I hope that like people who came here today like felt a different perspective to the album and also felt like a different ex- perspective to me like you know connected with me in some way further than the music and you know? I mean that's the most important part about music for me is connections because that's why people listen it's like listen to your song because there's something in it that's connected that song to them you know there's something about it that's just made them feel um, so I just hope that I can constantly make people feel something um, where do you see yourself next year uh, biggest I've after- Artists out of Africa. Pan African rock star. Dap me up. 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 I fuck with you. I fuck with you. What are you listening to right now? Like, who are you feeling? I'm feeling Lady Don Lee. Um, nah, As you should. She's pretty dope. I'm feeling Burner Boy. I'm feeling Theophilus London. Standard. Kate Renata. Um, I'm feeling Asha. Standard. All the time. Um, Wiz. David O. All the African icons, feeling all of them, Andre Likijo, Um Sangari. Like, I listen to a lot of old music, to be honest. So, like, I can be listening to someone now that, like, dropped an album in the 80s. But, like, that's what I'm feeling at the moment. Um, but, yeah, it's so much. I'm not even listening to as much music as I should be. But uh, I hope to get back on that soon after the tour. The band. The band is amazing. 
How did you guys? How did you meet the band? Um, you know, it's crazy. So in Nigeria, I have a band I play with. They're called the Cavemen. These are like they know everything. We, we produce the album together as well. Um, so that's pretty natural. You know, they're amazing musicians. In London, actually, I was playing with another band here, and I didn't quite enjoy the sound. So these guys that I played with tonight, the drummer actually went to secondary school with me in Nigeria. And I'd always, like, when, it was, when we were in secondary school, he used to drum. And I was just like, this guy, you know, there's something about him. So I, when I saw that he formed a band, I was just like, we definitely have to play. We only had, like, one rehearsal. Can't lie. We had one rehearsal. For this show. I'm telling you, with this guy, it's one rehearsal. But um, because we are both, like, musicians, it's an excellence where we've done so many gigs. It was just easier to navigate. Lady Donnelly, before we wrap up, let us know what's next. Um, you know, we're going to finish the tour. I have an EP coming out. I have a couple of videos coming out this year. Um, just keep on moving, you know, like wherever the wind blows, we move. Wherever the wind blows. That was Lady Donnelly. Thank you. Yeah.